Hey, what's up, collectors? Jim here with another figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Tommy Pokemon Ash and Pikachu set. Pretty cool little set. I thought, man, I bought them for my daughter, but I was looking at them when she was, you know, messing with them, and I said, man, those are pretty cool little figures. Let me review those. Um, I'm not sure what company Tommy is. I never really heard of that. It doesn't really say much else on the bottom besides just of course you know Pokemon rights and Nintendo rights so I guess the name of the company is Tommy but this is the packaging it's like you know big open window it shows you everything it has with it, it says Pokemon Ash and Pikachu on the back you get a shot of the figures it says Ash is ready for Avenger adventure uh, these are some other characters in the line there's the Tommy so I mean that's pretty much it you know they're, they're relatively cheap I think it was only like 11.99 I believe it was but um pretty pretty cool little figures now I mean as far as accessories all you really get is basically just the pokeball or pokemon ball whatever you call these I'm not the biggest pokemon fan guys but um you do get the ball which basically just kind of pegs into his hand but I mean it looks well enough you know it's painted you know Got the red on top, white on the bottom, with the nice black paint in the line, a little bit of black paint coming off. And that just kind of pegs into his hand. And then we get what I was thought was a cell phone. But my daughter was like, no, that's his turtle something or other. I don't know. You guys familiar with the show will know what this is, some kind of turtle communicator or something, what she called it. But anyway, you get this nice kind of clear plastic in there, and then you get a little bit of, you know, sculpted parts on the top. And he holds that relatively easy but yeah taking a look at ash i mean it's i don't know i think it's pretty cool i mean you know i think i don't know if the skin tone is right from what i can remember you know the little bit of times i've seen it but um i do like the paint and the on the the eyes and everything really cool definitely gives it that anime you know that anime look really nice job with the hat sculpt of his hair The back of the hat and everything and this you know this shirt's got a little bit of sculpting in it and the paint is oh you know decent for the price point we get a little bit of sculpted wrinkles again down in this pants you get a little bit of sculpted like line work and everything like that and then his shoes i thought were pretty cool looking a little bit of scuff paint but you know you get some cool little paint lines in there and everything like that and on the bottom you get a little bit of tread and you get two peg holes is the gloves on his hand the back of the figure and then as far as Pikachu Pikachu looks pissed off looks mad but you don't really get much but but this I mean there's no articulation in him at all I thought maybe at least his head would swivel but that's it I mean you get decent sculpt nice paint on Pikachu I mean everything's pretty much clean Get a little bit of paint on the back of his tail which is cleanly nicely done this is kind of a softer material get the line to work on the back here so I mean yeah Pikachu looks good I think he's supposed to this looks so pissed I don't know why he's so pissed and like I said uh, he holds his accessories relatively well and like I said for the ball you just have a peg and this hand has a little hole there where you put that into. But um, as far as articulation, you do get some articulation with Ash, at least. I mean, you get a little bit of up and down. You do get, you know, full swivel. Uh, you do get a little bit of side-to-side -side pivot. Uh, the arm's basically just a, you know, hinge and swivel. But you get decent range, actually. I mean, the hinge goes all the way up. Of course, that swivels all the way around. You just get a single bend at the elbow, but I mean it goes up pretty much 90 degrees. Now this this side's a little bit warped, you know, like a little loose, because like in the packaging they got his arm all bent. I don't know why they do that, but um, the hands do swivel. They don't hinge or anything, but they do swivel. Um, you don't get any kind of anything as far as a uh, ab crunch or even a waist twist, um, but you do get just basically forward and back for the legs they kick up about that much kick back about that they don't go out to the side a little bit 
plantar a little bit out to the side and you just get a single 90 degree bend out of the knee and that's it his feet don't really do anything but yeah guys I mean you know I thought it was a pretty cool little set give them back to my daughter now so she can play with them and probably lose these little tiny pieces if I can really get that back in his hand but yeah for you Pokemon fans out there you know this you know if you see I, I know that you know with all the, all the times that we've me and my daughter go to the store you know this is I've seen the other I've, I mean I've seen these like on the pegs you know what I mean and more or less I always see this this person, that, I don't know if I've ever seen him, but, um, you know, when she, when, when she picked these out, I thought, wow, you know, I, I, I never see Ash and Pikachu, and they're kind of like the main characters, so I was like, yeah, let's get them, you know? So I don't know how, I mean, I, don't, I doubt they're rare, it's just our area is kind of bad when it comes to that, especially like our Walmart. They never have anything new out on the shelves. Toys R Us is kind of the same way, just in the area, it's just kind of crappy. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I know I've never seen these, you know, the, the, an Ash and a Pikachu in this line. But yeah, that's, that's the review, guys. That's the uh, Ash and Pikachu Pokemon. Like I said, this is from Tommy. Tommy Toys. But, you know, I, I, I know I've seen these at Walmart, Toys R Us. I'm sure they're probably everywhere. A little bit, you know, on the cheap side. You know, 12, 12 bucks, I guess, isn't too bad. Especially because you, you, at least with this, we get the set. But yeah, that's the review, guys. Oh, let me give you a measurement. Um, Ash is about four and a half inches, and Pikachu is uh, like to the top of his head, too, but like kind of where his ears. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not two. One and a half inches, pretty much. Pretty much smack dab one and a half inches to the top of where his ears come back out there. And as far as a little comparison, uh, here's a Superman. Uh, DC icon Superman and here is a predator from NECA so you see the how small you know that scale is compared to a couple other figures but yeah that's the review guys uh, thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next figure review